Hey, class 9173. So, uh, sorry, I've had a busy week. So, I've got some sentences for you. The first four or five are from this book, um, uh, the story uh, 11, okay? And, uh, 11. Um, and the last couple sentences are from the idioms, okay? The idioms, the idioms from color, okay? Number one, number one. Helen, the girl's name. Okay. Helen was scared by the skinny little dog. It's an easy one, okay? So I'll just do it fast. Helen was scared by the skinny little dog. Number two. Rachel was getting madder and madder with her little brother because he kept eating her candy. Rachel was getting madder and madder with her little brother because he kept eating her candy. Rachel was getting madder and madder. Okay? I hope this is not too fast. Number three. Homeless people are almost invisible in our society. Homeless people are almost invisible in our society. Okay? The next one has a maybe a difficult word. The word clutch. Clutch, okay? Clutch, clutch, clutch something. It's mine! Like this clutch okay uh, number four <coughs> Susan Susan clutched her purse um, as she slowly walked down the alley Susan Susan clutched her purse as she slowly walked down the alley number five my mom taught me to squeeze all of the fruit before buying it. My mom taught me to squeeze all of the fruit before buying it. And number six. <clears throat> Susie, num number four has Susan. Number six, number six has Susie, Susie, okay? Susie was green with envy when her sister got engaged to a handsome, rich man. Susie was green with envy when her sister got engaged to a handsome, rich man. Green with envy. Okay, number seven, number seven, number seven. I told my brother a white lie when he asked me if I liked his new haircut. These are all easy words, okay? Uh, I told my brother a white lie when he asked me if I liked his new haircut. So, white lie. Number eight. Number eight has this word in it. Currency. We have lots of words that have the same meaning. Um, but I decided to use currency. Okay? So, uh, I'm not sure if you know it, but you can look the word up. And you, you can tell me the different, different words for the same thing. Okay? When... When I traveled to Cambodia, I sold my U.S. currency on the black market. When I traveled to Cambodia, I sold my U.S. currency on the black market. On the black market. Okay, so when I traveled to Cambodia, I sold my U.S. currency on the black market. Number nine, Harold's boss. Number nine and ten both have bosses, okay? Number nine. Harold's boss gave him the green light to attend the conference in New York. Harold's boss gave him the green light to attend the conference in New York. Nice boss. Nice boss. Green light. Number 10. Last one. Melvin felt blue after his boss told him his new ideas were all nonsense. Melvin felt blue. After his boss told him his new ideas were all nonsense. I'll do that one more time. Melvin felt blue after his boss told him his new ideas were all nonsense. Nonsense, I think, is from this book, too. Okay, okay um, good luck with these. Um, you can tell me if they're easy or difficult next time, okay? Um, so you have some... Some more. Please do uh, S and Z one more time. Um, uh, you have some uh, uh, 
you have a story to do in here, 11. Um, please do look through the activity book uh, for the side-by-side -side we did, 4.1. It's all perfect tense, perfect tense work, okay? And, um, oh, oh, and we're going to do the, oh, what else is there? Oh, you have to do the activity book for the grammar, for the phrasal verbs that we're doing, okay? But that, that should be pretty easy. Okay, um, if you need anything else, let me know. Take care. I got your email, so email works. Uh, uh, you can email me anytime. Bye-bye.